All right, so I want to briefly talk about one of the most important pieces of software that you will have on your computer when doing any development or QA for front end websites, and that's going to be your code editor. There's a lot of code editors out there that do different things and have different levels of functionality. There are code editors out there like Eclipse that is mainly used for working with Java code. There's others like Visual Studio that's mainly for working with uh, C sharp. There are a lot of code editors out there that do pretty much the same thing, but some offer different levels of functionality. For most web development, you don't need all the extra bells and whistles of what those larger I IDE code editors use. Uh, for example, like like Eclipse. Eclipse is a pretty large application. Uh, for web development, you don't need all of that. So uh, for web devs and QAs working on it, we are most likely going to be using Visual Studio Code. So don't mistake Visual Studio Code from its uh, kind of bigger brother, Visual Studio. Uh, this is more of a web product gearing mostly to like web developers, but you can use it for other languages too. You can, you can see like on here, like they have uh, extensions for like C Sharp, uh, C++, Python, whatever. Mostly web developers are going to be using Visual Studio Code because it's light, it's easy to use, there's tons of plugins and all that stuff. To get started with Visual Studio Code, um, do a Google search for Visual Studio Code or just type in code.visualstudio.com. Uh, you'll see some version of their homepage and basically just choose which download you want. Uh, they have versions for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So you should be able to find something that will fit your needs, All right? So once you have that downloaded and installed, uh, let me show you what it looks like. All right, so here's a uh, Visual Studio Code. Pretty bare bones. Uh, they have a left area over here. So Explorer, uh, this is where you're gonna see all your files and folders. So let me just go ahead and open a folder. All right, so here's a folder for a website that I built. Um, you can see at the top level, this is a folder, and then it has different, um, it has different subfolders in here. And if you click on like one of the files, then you can see the file here, uh, and all that stuff. So pretty easy to use. Um, on the files, uh, you can see on this left pane, they have kind of like this view where you can easily. Uh, scroll and see what's going on. Um, another nice thing is that um, source control is pretty much built into this app. So once this uh, folder in your on your file system is being managed by uh, source control, it will actually show your changes. And uh, in this uh, little navigation thing over here, you'll be able to like see indicators of where your changes are. Uh, if you have any on your source controlled files um, and they have really good documentation. So it tells you how to set it up so that you can use uh, source control in here. Um, this is just a simple search. Uh, you can, you can search for files. Um, so type in something, it will find it. And then you can just click on it and directly open the file. Let's see, they have a good debugger here. So you can, uh, kind of read the documentation on he, how to use the debugger, um, but it's pretty simple. It's good for uh, testing out a small piece of code. So like, say you want to test out a JavaScript function, you, you'll be able to run it and be able to debug it, uh, step through each step of the thing, put breakpoints, all that good stuff, uh, all within here. And as I mentioned, they have a lot of extensions. Uh, so you can search for whatever you might be looking for. Um, so let's, let's see, I bet you they have like a lorem ipsum. So they have like lorem ipsum. So somebody created a shortcut so that you can like type in a command and then it'll give you some, some lorem ipsum, uh, at, at various lengths in there. Um, one extension that I like are, uh, path one is one extension that I like particularly is like app IntelliSense. This helps you with your relative links, uh, because it will help you, as you can see, um, they have a little GIF kind of video here. So you can see that it will give you the path. Um, as long as you're using like a relative link syntax, it will give you the path within your file system of what files folders are in there. And it makes it a lot easier than, uh, trying to like guess what or trying to figure out what the what the syntax is uh, because it, it tells you for sure 
if you're in the right uh, folder, if you're in the right file and all that stuff. Um, so you, you don't have to kind of figure that out later when you run your code. Um, another handy thing that I like in here is, is the terminal. So this new terminal, if you go to terminal, hit new, and you'll get this down here. So basically this is the same as your console or your terminal on Mac. Um, you can go in here and you can do do anything that you would do. So it's just like, this is Windows, so I can like CD up a directory. I can CD down a directory um, and it works. And it's all within here. So you don't have to have a little extra window floating around because uh, when you're working uh, with building and running apps, running automation, you're gonna be using the terminal a lot to, to execute things. Um, so it's nice that you can just have this here um, and then uh, kind of hide it if you don't need it anymore. Okay, so that was a quick introduction and overview of Visual Studio Code. Uh, for all of the tutorials and classes that I use, I use Visual Studio Code. You should go ahead and get it installed and get used to it uh, because you're going to be in it a lot, um, especially if you're using my courses. So in the comments below, I'm curious of what your favorite extensions are on Visual Studio Code because there's so many out there and there's no way I could uh, just accidentally stumble upon everything that I might find useful and, and cool. So in the comments, if you want to throw out what is your favorite extension so I can check it out and for the others to check out, uh, that would be awesome. I uh, hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell if you're interested in seeing more content like this and see you next time.